Hey guys, I'm doing a huge giveaway. All you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. Leave a comment down below with your in-game name, in-game ID, and the skin you want that's under 300 diamonds. So with that, best luck, and I'll see you in the video. Yo guys, welcome back to Team Assassination. How is everybody doing today? And today we're bringing to you a rotation guide, in-depth rotation guide on Harley, using this gameplay, obviously. I find this actually more engaging, and uh, well, so while we're talking about the game, while we're watching the game, and we can talk about why I do and why I do what I do, okay? Harley is one of the most bursty and most mobile mage out there. In fact, he's almost he's a hundred percent banner pick at the current meta. With the upcoming patch, Harley received a significant nerf, but Harley's still gonna be really relevant to the meta just because of the mobility and again damage. So like any other guy, we're gonna break this guy into multiple categories. When to rotate, how to rotate, how to counter rotate and counter gank, and team fight strategies. So, let's talk about when to rotate. With Harley, before level 4, you, all your main job is actually to get to level 4. And this is a standard strategy that I recommend and I want to share with you guys. And get to level 4 almost guaranteed way before enemy mid lane. I talk about this in, uh, in my Harley guide and Harley gameplay all the time. But just in case you missed, what you want to do is when you start off the, the lane the laning phase, your first thing is get the jungle item level 1 and go to the minion on the right side of the mid lane. And what you do is clean the midway and immediately come to the left side of the buff. This is where your communication with your teammate comes really, becomes really important. You want your teammate to know, if they need a buff, go to the red side to get the buff. Okay? Do not get a blue buff, because the blue buff has one big buff and a small minion. As you can see right now, I'm already level 4. And the enemy Cyclops is level 3 and a quarter. And I have Execute. So because of the huge 1 level advantage, where Cyclops has no fighting chance at all, because I have one extra skill ahead of her. Him. It. Whatever you want to call Cyclops. And we're able to easily get a kill. Okay? And afterwards, you want to look at a minimap. And this is how you kill. You usually get first blood. Usually when I play Hardy, I will get first blood just because I have the one level advantage. I saw on bottom lane, a uh, fight coming in. I quickly come over here. And because my cooldown and my ability already came up, uh, become ready, so I can bottom and we can easily assist our bottom lane and get another kill. And basically, afterwards, we're going to go back to mid lane. So the rotation is, you first rotate between jungle and mid, uh, small minion on the right side, go to mid lane, get your get your lane, and go to the left side, get your buff, and then come back to the mid lane. After two minions, you're guaranteed to be level 4. And enemy mid lane, most likely 99% of the chance are still level 3 or 2, depending on how they farm, okay? But at this point, you're already level 4, and there's a huge advantage. And then you look at the minimap, and you start fighting your gank. Because by the time if you go to the side lane, your ultimate will become ready again, and it will be able to set up an easy kill. And here you can see, obviously we're looking for opportunity to gank again. We have saw enemy Cyclops on the side lane, and we come quickly come over here, using one out, one first ability, and in fact Cyclops will die. And I will troll in a little bit, because I really don't want to um, <laughs> auto-attack Cyclops. The Cyclops are cute enough to use second ability to damage me, and I end up taking a lot of damage, as you see right here. But that's completely fine. A kill is a kill, right? After we get it super low and no minion to be taken, we decide to come back to base and get some regeneration before we return back to the battlefield. And let's talk about how to rotate. When I rotate on the side lane, uh, I mainly look at a lane where they don't have flicker. Purify is completely fine uh, for you to get a kill because maximum they can do is purify the slow out of your ultimate. But all of that, all of that, you can still uh, quickly and easily assassinate enemy ch in the team because what you do is mainly damage, and they cannot purify your ult away. You need to still still take the second part of your ultimate damage. So you want to look at a lane where they do not have flicker or they already used flicker, because if you gank lane with flicker, there is high possibility you might just waste your time because you might get away, right? Now, what if enemy team all have flicker, right? That actually sometimes happens. You just want to go to your lane, uh, uh, harass one time, make sure. You bait their flicker and then you come to rotate. Once you do rotate to the side lane, and you will notice I do this very often, I'll make sure that I use my ultimate first before I use my second ability. Because I don't know how people usually go like, or where they go. So I want to save my second ability for necessary, for secure, secure, or for escape. I do not use my first ability just to get close. 
Because your ultimate has, you know, sometimes when I had when I had to run to the lane, maybe it's a different story. Because your ultimate has a huge cast range, there's really no need to actually rush into that. And after successfully getting a gank, what you want to do is actually go back to mid and make sure you do not miss any minion wave. Make sure you don't miss any minion wave because it's important for Farley Harley to get as much farm as as you possibly can to be as hard as possible. Because that way, if you maintain constantly maintain two to three levels of advantage over an enemy team, you can almost guarantee you every time you jump in, somebody is gonna die. A hundred percent. Okay, a hundred percent. Let's talk about how to counter rotate and counter gank. When I play Harley, in, especially in a higher competitive gameplay setting, you actually get ganked a lot. What you want to do is make sure you're always standing on one side of the mid lane jungle, mid lane river. Now obviously I'm playing a, a casual game, and this game for the material, so you do not see enemy team rotate a lot because I will rotate them, I'm always a head on level, so they can't really gank me, it's always me ganking the enemy team. But when you play a little bit passer for example, you want to make sure your positioning is always on the one side of the river, or one side of the river bush next to mid lane. So this way, if people do gank you on the left side, on the other side of the river, it's going to be very far. So you're going to have enough distance and time to get away. And if they come from the other side, you're in the bush, so you have a geographic advantage. So that way you can get away. And let's talk about the team fight strategies. With Harley in a team fight setting, what you want to do is find an opportunity to assassinate their backline. Or before the team fight even begin, you want to pick someone off or do a lot of damage so to make sure that they are a little hesitant to go in, or even, even if they're stupid enough to do, uh, while the person is already in a very, very bad status. Your team is able to secure an easy victory for that team fight, just because it's become a 5v4 situation or somebody had to sacrifice. So make sure you don't be hesitant to use your all. But one thing I do want to uh, put a lot of put a note on is make sure you activate your ultimate on the right target, on the right target before you, you cast, okay? Preferably use hero lock mode. Even though your ult can be blocked, but preferably use hero lock mode. So you do not waste precious opportunity uh, in the slide of a second, 10 seconds in a team fight setting. And here to put everything in action, this is the gameplay that we did versus goes to um, best number one squad in North America uh, last night. And it was really intense. All of us were uh, pulling a muscle. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right even uh, even the right English phrase last night. But the game was quite difficult, and the game was commented um, by my good friend Jordan, who was a co-caster in the last um, last season tournament uh, that we did. So actually, the beginning of the season, but it's, it's quite intense, and uh, I will show you exactly what I've been what I've been talking about and what I practice. And here you will see me actually die. Uh, I think a couple of times, I don't remember how many times I died, but check out the gameplay guys, it's, um, it will put everything that we talk about in action and uh, we'll, we'll actually return the full commentary brought to you by Jordan. Uh, obviously the equipment was kind of kind of, uh, kind of crappy last night, we didn't have everything set up, so Jordan had quite a bit of problem controlling the camera, um, but it was the best that you know we could have brought to the audience. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay, make sure you hit like and subscribe in the comment section down below. And um, to join Team Assassination, guys. And with that, thank you so much. I love you guys very, very much. And see you guys next time. Bye now. Well, I was just kind of farming the start. A little skirmish going on top. It's a pretty dangerous lane right there with the Kagura and the Chow. I'm look to take that gold crab. Powers was getting bursted down by the Harley. Harley hit level 4 first. Probably from that early start on the jungle. I have special attack techniques. Only one as handsome as I is worthy of such beautiful magic. Wow, that was a good push there. Saber manages to make it out with like nothing. Harley went down.
I'm going kind of slow right now. Not really seeing any advantage on either team at the moment. Although it looks like something's going down mid. Uh, looks like Harley's actually going to go down. Franco's probably going to fall. Nice double kill coming in there for Kirito. Kirito looking very strong for the second game in a row here. Looking like being the star for Gosu. Gosu manages to steal that blue buff away. Well, I guess with the buff change, then it is a blue buff still, but all the buffs are blue. <laughs> An enemy has been slain. Talia trying to get out of there. Cyclops down bot by himself trying to fend off this Franco Gord combo. An enemy has been slain. Manages to stun lock Cyclops there, does quite a bit of damage. If he had known he was there, they might have been able to kill him. Oh wow, nice hook there. Ult coming in and manages to take him down. Franco lives with a sliver of health. We'll see if Saber can come down there and secure that kill or Ruby. Looks like they're probably gonna ult him. Ruby gonna come in with the hook. Nice flicker away from Shet on that gourd there. Saber trying to come in and defend that turret. Harley probably ulting him. As AE is looking to take turtle over. AE's looking pretty strong this game. I think getting the Harley despite his score at the moment has just applied a lot of pressure on the map and allowing them to move more freely. Also, not having Kirito on the Fanny is a breath of fresh air for them. Never seen someone handsome with one eye. Twee going quite aggressive down here. Looks like they get the kill secured though with the gank from Powers, aka Gosu Naisu. Gord gets another kill down bot on Kirito. He's now on a killing spree. It's most kills in the game on Gord. Go ahead and look at the stats here. Uh, as far as the gold goes, Gord is sitting at a nice 3600, most farmed in the game as of this moment. Uh, we have uh, Saber sitting at 29, uh, Powers on the Cyclops at 3000. So it's pretty even as far as the gold goes. Gord is looking quite strong as of the moment though. Twee looking caught out here. Franco gonna ult her down. She's going down, beginning's going down with him. Oh wow, that was a great gank from AE. Uh, nice counter gank, manages to get the Franco down. Saber meanwhile top trying to keep that wave pushed. Uh, I don't know if Gosu can really afford to stay around here as Jenny goes down from the Harley. Looks like a lot of pressure coming in from Powers onto the Gore manages to secure the kill. He's probably going down as well. Yep. Look at mid here. Kirito barely keeping this tower alive from the Natalia. AE's looking like they're taking a commanding lead here. Might be another fight going on mid as Franco gets kicked in the tower. He still has an, his immortality, although I don't think he's going to live. Yeah, he ends up going down. Uh, we got Harley, meanwhile, trying to split push here. Sounds like the Franco may have uh, disconnected for a moment there. That is unfortunate. As they try to pressure this Lapu and Gord. Gord is going down quite low, although it looks like Kagura is going to die in the back end there from the Harley ult. He's going to go ahead and take the blue. 
They start pressuring with this team. Wow, that was quite an interesting uh, little mechanic there. I'm not really even sure what happened, how he ended up all the way over there. Was it the ruby pool? Because it looked like Franco got a hook, and then all of a sudden both of them were over there. I didn't know ruby pool was that long. It's a lot easier to keep up with this on the on the actual handheld compared to on a computer where you have to click and slide across the screen with the mouse. Ghost is looking to take down this tier 2 tower. Meanwhile, mid lane, uh, Harley manages to get another kill. Counter with the Cyclops ultimate coming in. Harley gets ulted by the Saber, goes down from the Cyclops damage. Meanwhile, Saber dies on the back end from the Gord ultimate. Cyclops trying to maintain pressure here. He might have st overstepped his bounds as Natalia comes in with the silence, uh, double dash, easy kill. Uh, she's looking at uh, Twi now on the Kagura. Kagura goes down from the Lapu Lapu. Chao had the run away. So it was a pretty good trade in the favor of AE. They lost two members, but managed to take down three. Oh, as they bounce back, Gosu manages to take down the Franco there. Beginnings on the Chow is very adept, one of the best Chows in North America. He's been known for it for uh, going on three seasons now. Jenny's running into a wall. Dave coming in with the ult onto the Cyclops. Doesn't quite get enough damage with the Harley there. Uh, looks like Ghost is trying to come back in with the counter engage. Saber goes down from the Gord ultimate. Now it's looking like Chow is the next target. Jenny's trying to get in the middle of the mix. Chow going back in. It's looking like a very chaotic fight. Chow goes down. Meanwhile, Natalia's split pushing in the top lane. Cyclops goes down. Jenny's alone. It's looking like AE might be able to take a lot here. That was a great four and five. They managed to take down five, four members. Ruby's uh, now on her back heels. And it's looking like uh, Assassin uh, Esports is about to take a lot of towers here. There goes two already, and they're focusing on two inhibitor turrets. Uh, Ruby's choosing to try to fight off uh, the Natalia, but can't really do much. And they're gonna end up losing both inhibitor turrets right here because of that fight mid lane. It's looking like Assassin Esports is very much in charge of this game. That Harley pick is paying them in dividends. Not really sure um, what they could do at this point, especially now with that fight happening like that, with the uh, beginnings going down right away, uh, and they have the back end coming in with the Natalia, uh, easily assassinating powers there. Uh, it's just looking like what what can Gosu do if they don't catch out the Harley? It's it's looking quite over for them. I don't see how they can possibly come back in this game if they don't catch out one of the most slipperiest uh, characters in the game. It's going to be really tough for them to pull this out. And now with uh, AE getting the Lord, I'm looking for them to end in the next 30 seconds when that Lord marches up. Harley, 9, 3, and 3. Gord, 7, 3, and 7. It's just looking really good for those two mages on the side of Assassin Esports. Dave gonna stack his blue buffs. Dave, the infamous assassin player, playing on the 
one of the first mage assassins in this game. I don't know if you really consider Karina a mage assassin. I think Harley is the one true mage assassin at this point. What's going on with the Natalia down there? Let's see if we can see if Franco will uh, make a big play with the hook right now. We got twe oh, that was a great hook by uh, Franco onto Jenny. Uh, Chow trying to go in and do some damage control. It manages to kick the Gord into the team. They take down Gord, and now there's a lot of uh, fighting going on all over the place. Franco goes down. Uh, it's looking like two down for uh, AE at the moment. Another kill onto the Cyclops there for the Harley. Kirito coming in. They're going to take down Lapu Lapu. It's now three on two. Uh, Natalia and Harley are the only ones alive for Assassin Esports. That was a, a great start to the fight for AE. Uh, when they got that hook, that was a great initiation. Um, too bad it was on Ruby and not a more high priority target with a more damage like Cyclops. Because um, that was that allowed Chow to go into the back line and kick in uh, Gord. And then they managed to take down the Franco as well. And Lapu can just not do enough damage. Uh, Harley was trying to clean up, but it, you know, it, it, it's not the worst thing in the world for AE. They managed to get the Nexus down quite a bit. Um, they can probably march back up again here in a minute and potentially take the game. Uh, but Gosu, that was a really, really good play for them. Now they kind of are more comfortable. They, they feel like they can win this game now. They just need to, to, to play it right, to kick the right members back into the team with that Chow. You know, Gord or Harley is your priority. You know, take away the damage. With the double mage meta, you want to you wanna get at least one of those mages out of the fight as soon as the fight begins. Harley going in, trying to take down the Kagura. He manages to back all the way out, gets ulted, no big deal. Let's see if Franco can make another hook. Natalia trying to go in clear that wave, make sure the lanes maintain the pressure that they've been putting out. They're really trying to choke Gosu up here. They don't want them to have any room to breathe, any room to come back in this game. They have no turrets, they have them on their heels, and they're just trying to make sure they stay there. They don't want Gosu to start getting confident and walking out into the map. They really want to make something happen here. Franco going to try to make another hook. Uh, Chow with a nice immune there. Although I don't know how good it would have been to pull the Chow considering he has a mortality. That could have ended up bad for them. Lord, resurrecting soon. I'm trying to spot out that Natalia with the blades on Saber there. Looks like they're gonna be taking Lord again on the side of AE. This may be the end of the game if they get this Lord. Second Lord's gonna be putting out a lot more damage. Gosu trying to come in and steal. Uh, Chow going in, kicks back Lapu Lapu. Not the best target in the world. He's gonna go down. Oh, they're probably gonna get this kill. I don't see how Chow makes it out of this one alive. Yeah, Chow goes down. Uh, you got Natalia up here trying to apply some pressure to any stragglers that might be cut out. Doesn't manage to find anyone. Just. Love taps powers there on that uh, Cyclops. I like a little hello. Franco just jumps in and ults down Saber. They manage to get the quick kill. Cyclops goes down as well. This is looking like game. Even though Ruby manages to get the pull, there is nothing they can do. Good game. It's now tied up 1 1. AE and Gosu. Let's go ahead and see what the stats are saying here. So great performance by both the mages on the side of AE.